let's talk through significant figures. This means how many figures, how many digits were actually measured. Now, sometimes zero was measured and sometimes it wasn't. And there is a bunch of rules. Remember, all this that you have you can read. Plus, you can always put the subject into YouTube for further uh, tutorials. But here we go. Starting off real easy, there are four digits here. There were four digits measured. So how many significant figures does this have? It has four. It has four digits that count as measurements. On number two, the machine measured 707, like maybe 707 meters. Well, if it can measure the ones place, I bet it can measure the tens place. It's just that sometimes you measure something and you get zero. So did it measure the zero? Yeah, it did. How many significant figures does it have? How many major digits that we should count as good measurements? Three. Let's include the zero because if it can measure this seven, it can measure that zero. So this would be three significant figures. The same thing applies here. If it can measure the tenths place, it can measure the hundredths place, it can measure the tenths place, right? So it measured one, two, three, zero, and six, and that's five significant figures. Okay, here's where the confusion comes in. Now, when you measured 0.0, .0 it didn't really measure anything. There wasn't anything there to measure. And again, pretend this was meters. When you looked at one meter length, there was nothing. When you looked at a tenth of a meter, there was nothing. So you didn't even really measure it. It just was not even there. Now, we have to put a zero or the decimal will be in the wrong place, but it's not actually a measurement. So note to self, 0.0, .0 does not count as a measurement. It's not significant figures. So the measurement started at the hundredths place here. And then it measured four, and it measured zero, and then it measured two. And that is three significant figures. So here's one that combines both. We said a leading zero doesn't really measure. Zero point doesn't measure. And any zeros until you get to something else is not a measurement. So this zero is not a measurement. So let's cross that one out. Now let's talk about the ending zero, a trailing zero after a decimal. Now as some of you have been taught quite well by say your fourth grade teacher, oh you can just cross that out honey they said, right? Because it doesn't matter and you put it in your calculator or whatever and it doesn't matter. That's right. For the calculator it doesn't matter and I want to make that point because then why did they put it? Why did the person bother to write down this zero if it doesn't matter in the calculator? And what they're telling you is, no, I measured that digit. I measured all the way out to that decimal point, that decimal place, and I got zero. Sometimes you measure it, and it's zero. So the trailing zeros after a decimal do count. If they didn't measure them, they shouldn't have put them. If they did measure them, and they just happened to get zero this time, then that is a measurement, and that is a significant figure. So it measured 82610, and that is five significant figures. So what about this one? It measured three, it measured three, it measured eight, pretty obviously, and we said the zeros after a decimal don't really count for the calculator, so there's no point for the calculator. There is a point, though, to say, no, I know that those are zeros. It's not that I'm guessing, it's not that I don't know. I know that they happen to be zero this time because I looked and I measured. So that's why they would put a zero or two zeros as trailing zeros after a decimal. They did measure them. These do count as significant figures. So that's five significant figures. Now, how about adding and subtracting insignificant figures? Here's the one, the thing I like to do that makes it more obvious, I think. Anytime after your number that you have a blank, you can mentally put in a question mark. 15.6 what? I don't know. 29.4 what? I don't know. So if you mentally put in question marks, it makes it more obvious. Because what is, what is that? After What's after the four? I don't know. What's this? Three. What's three plus I don't know plus I don't know plus I don't know? Well, you can put three because that's what the calculator will tell you, but what is it really? What's three plus I don't know, I don't know, I don't know? And the real, the real answer is, I don't know. That's not necessarily a three. It could be anything. These numbers could be anything because you don't know what they are. Maybe they're all nines. Maybe they're all zeros. Maybe they're a mix. 
So what's this digit right here under this column? I don't know. So let's round it off. And since it was under 5, we'll round down, and we just round down to the 9 here. On 8, what was above this 9? I don't know. So what is this column? You can put 9, and the calculator will, will give you this answer. But we don't really know what's here. So when it does this, you have to say, no, no, I know better. I'm going to have to round it off to this column, where I do know what I'm talking about. And then because this is 9, it pushes the number to the left up one spot. We have to round up here, so we get 97.5. Now, on 9 here, we get a bit of an instructive point here. You're going to get a negative number because you're subtracting a bigger number, right? Well, if you're doing it by hand, what you can do is turn it over and just know to put a negative sign on your answer. So I turned it over, and then what's above the 7? I don't know. So I do the subtraction, but what do I know about the third decimal place? I don't really know the answer. I don't know minus 7 is not 3, it's I don't know. So I'm going to have to round that off, and since 3 is under 5, I round it off down and I stick with 6. and I thought I'd do 15 and 16, round it off to three significant figures. You can put the zero here if you like. That is not a significant figure, so three significant figures starts at the six, so we get 682, and we need to round this off, and since it's under five, it rounds down, and we get this. Here's four significant figures, we need to round off the fourth one, and since it's under five, it rounds down, and we get that. 